uh, it's not that hard installing sonar, right? You go to their website, Windows, download it, Linux, Mac, etc. Um, I don't have it installed, so I'm just going to do it through Docker. If you don't know what Docker is, it just, um, it's like applications are in little containers that you can run on your machine and they run, um, like directly on your, your hardware basically without going through windows in this case. So it's just like Linux, little Linux VMs, very basic terms. Um, super easy to install as well. So if you actually want to do that way, you can follow the guide steps, whatever I'm doing right now. Um, I already have it installed, so um, luckily, because you know, Sonar is a widely used tool, right? These guys have an image. You can just literally go here, grab their Docker Compose file example, create Docker dash compose .yaml file, copy paste it in. Um, I'll skip Radar. Who cares? It's the same thing as Sonar. If you know how to do Sonar, you know how to do Radar. Uh, radar is for movies, right? And we need. A torrenting software, right? So keep it torrent. So we have a Docker Compose that has that will spin up Sonar and it will spin up Qubit Torrent for us. Um, the structure on the left is just I have my conf config files here next to each other. I have a downloads folder where everything will get downloaded, and then a media folder where everything will get copied to afterwards. Um, if you're using Plex, right, th right, this is where you point Plex libraries at these file folders and you can access them anywhere. Uh, you can also run them directly, right? So path to data, that's um, it's asking us for where we our config data is. So here it's sonar, config slash sonar. Where is our media files? They're going to be in slash media on both sides, in the container and outside on our local machine. And downloads. Oh, let me put the dot in front so it's uh, relative pathing, right? So dot slash downloads would be this downloads folder right there. And that port would be 8989. Same thing for a qubit torrent. And that's about it, really. Now all we have to do now is just run docker compose up dash D to run it detached. So we don't have um, the standard output of those Docker containers running in this terminal. Um, so all it's doing right now is it's downloading those images and starting the services up. That's it. So we just go now to localhost 8080 and localhost 8989. And we have Qubit Torrent, and we have Sonar. So in Sonar, we want to add an indexer, right? In this case, Nia, because we're anime pirates. So we just grab the URL from there, and it works. Now we want something to download the files, right? So we had a Qubit Torrent as our download client. I've seen it in the past where localhost 8080 doesn't work. Right, I don't know why. So what what you want instead is just get your local IP address. So type IB config in terminal. Grab that. It will ask for authentication. The default password and username is admin, and then admin admin for the password. That works. Now we want to rename episodes, so it'll download blah, 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 you know, brackets, horrible subs or whatever, right? That's ugly. We don't want that. Instead, we'll rename it to series title, season one, episode one, and then the title name. You can remove the quality from here as well. So it'll look like that when it's done downloading. And then we want to add it where it will store your media. So media animate. And that's about it. Now we just want to add a show. So let's add SpyX Family because it's an airing show. It's an anime. We want it in 1080p. We want to get every episode of it. And that's the folder it'll download to. And now it will just automatically search Nia and download all the episodes 
when new episodes come out every week, they will automatically get downloaded for you. So after it grabs them, they'll show up here in the activity. Then you just go here and you can see they're downloading in your torrenting client. All right, so they're downloaded. Sonar shows that all three are downloaded. And now if you go to that media anime folder, voila. That's all you need. 